Hello everyone, welcome back to Debsy's Delight. In my previous video, everyone kept asking where is Debbie? Show your face. And here I am, voila! <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button below. If you have subscribed, kindly click on the little bell so that whenever I post a video, you will be the first to know. What are we making today? Today, we are making grilled tilapia, one of Ghana's favorite. And whenever I'm making tilapia, it reminds me of my hair teacher in high school, they nicknamed Tila, Tila, Tila. <laughs> Sorry, that was, just... Wait, that was just by the way. Let's get straight into the video. Stay tuned. To make this delicious spicy oven grilled tilapia, you need the king of the ingredients, which is the tilapia. You need your fresh rosemary your shallots, one large onion, ginger, garlic, thin peppers, scotch bonnet pepper, seasoning cube, your cloves known as pepper, your aniseed known as inkitinkiti, your grains of psyllium known as pintia, just want to give it a kick, your thyme, salt, olive oil and your vegetables for garnishing. I will begin by making deep insertions into the fish to help trap in the marinade. You need a sharp knife for this as you do not want to tear up your fish. Mind you, this step is very important or else you won't get the desired results. You want your fish to get all the flavors in there. I will continue by tapping it dry with a tissue just to get rid of some of the moisture in the fish. Before anything else, I'll season my fish with half my seasoning cube and some salt. Make sure you get to all the corner corner and the insertions of the fish. You want to taste everything in there. So just like I'm showing you now, get in there my friend, dig in there. Don't miss this part. I know some of you remove the gill but I prefer to keep it because I wanted the Ghanaian street style you see don't judge me all <laughs> I'll cover it with some plain film and set it aside to marinate I'll then proceed to prep my vegetables and natural spices to blend just like so I almost forgot to add just a tiny slice of my paprika to add to my blend mix. Now I'm adding my salt and the rest of the seasoning cube with some olive oil to blend. And this is the exciting part guys. Yes, I'm going to fry my blended ingredients until all set. I added some more oil as I realized it was too small. Guys, again, do not skip this part because this gives the maximum flavor you need for your tilapia. I fry the blended mix for like eight minutes and once it cools off, I'm smearing it everywhere in my fish just like so. Don't miss any part, guys. Dig into the insertions, dig into the gill area, Dig into the, the space between the tummy. I don't know the name, but yeah, <laughs> just make sure you fill it up with the marinade. Again, I'll cover it with some plain film and leave it to marinate for like 10 to 20 minutes. It's 15 minutes. I preheated my oven for five minutes, covered my baking tray with foil to prevent the grease from getting on there, greased my wrap with some olive oil to prevent the fish from sticking onto it and got it all ready for grilling. So while that is grilling, I'm going to put a couple of fragment vegetables for garnishing. Don't get me wrong, I love my vegetables. I'm going to put it here as well. Now let's check how Tila is doing. <laughs> so after 20 minutes, this is how Tila is looking. 
I'm going ahead to smear more of the marinade. You saw me scraping up the excess from the tray I took the fish from and this is exactly what I wanted to use it for. Don't skip this part as you want loads in there. I'll flip my fish to ensure even grilling. Be very careful when you're flipping because you do not want to tear it apart. And I'll apply more of the marinade on the other side of the fish as well. This whole process is very important. This is like the, the peak of it. This is the moment you need to pay attention to. Because this is what will give you the best results in the end. I put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes to ensure both sides are properly grilled. And once it was almost ready, I sauteed my vegetables ready for garnishing. And now it's ready guys! <laughs> Just look at how appealing and attractive it looks. Not too bent, not too raw, juicy. Tell me you don't want to have a bite. And the aroma here guys is something to travel miles for. I'm garnishing it with my sauteed vegetables. Matching it with some hot king cake, some hot pepper, shinto, and baked beans. Try it, guys, it's simply amazing. Guys, it's all ready now, and it's time to taste it. I'm sure you want to taste it, but let me have the first bite. It's all juicy. guys <laughs> sorry i'm not even kidding this is amazing this is amazing guys i have to go you know what try this recipe and you will not regret it you will thank me later guys i had to come back and say this as you can see i'm having mine with some gakenke i know some Ghanaians love to have this with banku or gari photo some of my Nigerian friends love to have it with some fried ripe plantain. How do you like yours? Why don't you leave it in the comment section below? By the way, if you like this video, kindly share with a friend, share with a family. If you haven't subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button as well as the notification button so that whenever I post a Debsy's Delight recipe, you will be the first to be notified. Thanks so, so much for watching. I love you all, but God loves you most. Bye for now.